On Thanksgiving Day, November 22nd, 3,500 meals were served to hurricane survivors by Occupy Sandy volunteers under the guidance of the Occupied Kitchen, a working group that has served the movement since its beginnings in Zuccotti Park. People traveled in from as far away as Texas and Indiana to contribute to the efforts to serve Thanksgiving Day meals to those still without power or worse, without homes. Others trucked in donations of badly needed items such as canned goods and medical supplies. I got involved um, way back when we had the park in Scotty and uh, have been really touched by the uh, sense of community that this group has and so I just keep trying to help out with however I can. I can't celebrate this day knowing that other people are just not able to have uh, celebrated Thanksgiving and be together with their families and lost everything. And, I uh, just came up here to support them and make uh, as best a day as they can have. I'm from the Lower Hudson Valley, and uh, my name is Richard. Uh, we got whacked last year with Hurricane Irene, so a lot of us up there said it's time to pay back to everybody who helped us out. So I'm Brent, this is Pete. We came from uh, Connecticut. I know for me it was a matter of enjoying um, some time with family and friends, but I just thought what a great opportunity just to come down and lend a hand to uh, some folks that need some help and offer some encouragement and some hope, so I'm glad I'm here. So this is a comms dispatch hub where we take in, uh, got a hotline for people to phone in their needs, their orders for meals, and also to uh, volunteer to help out in the kitchen here, help out with uh, deliveries. So we've got a lot of people offering to be drivers. We can ring them back and uh, uh, arrange for them to take the meals at the right times to the right locations. We have the Clinton and Jacoby hubs that are dealing with non-food items, but we're all sharing and linking together to make sure that there's enough cars and volunteers and goods in all of the different locations. We know that an order's already to go out for 900, and we've got orders for 700 and 200, so how many people are actually going to get fed today is a thousand? It's, it's fantastic. This is what, it's, it's what uh, mutual aid is all about. Not charity, mutual aid. And I've been here since about 7 o'clock last night. Any sleep at all? No. How much did you sleep? A uh, couple of hours. But I'll be okay. I'll sleep when I'm dead. I just completed a 25 hour street day. Uh, pulled it all night and doing a with wonderful energy. And the people here are just lovely. Uh, they had the energy that kept you up all night and you just couldn't stop it. It was pervasive. The Walmart workers are forced to work on Thanksgiving to get a, a jump start on Black Friday. So those of us in OWS decided that uh, in solidarity with some of the Walmart workers who are organizing, we're going to send them little gift baskets and just say, sorry you have to work on the holidays, you know, here's a little token of our appreciation and we'll be there tomorrow to support your organization in the future. Uh, Occupy is kind of like working in the kitchen. <laughs> anyway, because it's like there's a necessity that kind of shapes the organization of people. And it's very like, like geese, you know, when geese fly south, different leaders emerge at different times to, you know, to form the point of the triangle. But the leader is a necessity to go south. And that's what I love. There's a necessity to help people here and the necessity to do something about this country, you know, are what are happening for. And that is energizing. That's why I don't need any sleep. We're not going to Zuccotti today. Oh, we're not, huh? No, it's okay. really sad. Breaks my heart, but um, it, it, the, the need in the affected areas was really dire. So we're still sending out over 4,000 meals today through Rockaways, Coney Island, Staten Island. So a lot of good will be done today. We'll celebrate in Zuccotti another day. Well, actually, we think we're going to be needed more after Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving, everybody's out there helping. Sure, we're helping. We're helping in a big way. But other people are going to stop helping. Occupy Sandy is still going to be helping after all the crowds have left. So, no, we're just starting. <laughs> so, you, so you came here expecting to get three plates and instead? Instead, I got enough for everybody in Seagate. And that's a wonderful thing. Because I know so many people who don't have. And it's great. It's simply wonderful. And Sister Connie is filling up my plates. I'm filling up my truck as we speak. And I'm going to bless the neighborhood. How are you today? 
Okay. Excuse me. If we can't use it tonight, we'll use it tomorrow for lunch or even for dinner because we possibly probably won't get any. But um, we'll freeze it. I'm putting it in the refrigerator and store it for tomorrow. <laughs> And I want to see you. I have my Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to see you.